guys, welcome to Rob Trey's house. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos. I want to see, I want to see how my Virgos are feeling right now, present moment, and see what's going on with you guys, okay? I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your shares, all of your comments. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy, okay guys? Please remember, only take what's yours, leave everything else behind. If you would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading, okay? All right, my loves, I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Let's see what's going on with my Virgos. How is my Virgos currently feeling? So what's this nine of swords energy that's popping out? What are you guys stressing over? What's causing you anxiety? Who's causing you this type of energy? See that nine of swords? You see all that stress, all that anxiety here. Who is stressing you out? What is stressing you out? Show me, how is my Virgos feeling? King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. A lot of you guys, it's about your work. It's about what you're working on. It's about what you're trying to accomplish. You are like, there's a, there's a massive focus right now present moment on making something happen for yourself you know this is there's a massive focus on your finances on your career on your work some of you guys right now present moment your work your job is stressful there you're, you're, there's some stress here when it comes to your work your job your career you know, this is like working long hours, staying up at night, stressing over current projects right now, present moment. Like your workload. I feel like a lot of you guys in energy here of kind of stressing over your workload here. I'm also getting like if you're head of household, there's stress around that. You know, there's stress around your foundation. There's stress around your resources. There's stress here. There's, there's such an energy here of worry more than stress. I feel like it's more of worrying, consistently worrying to make sure that you can take care of all of your responsibilities, to make sure that you can hold up your end of the bargain, maintain what it is that you have. Yeah, show me, show me, show me how my Virgos are doing, Spirit. So we have temperance here, pouring, but oof, there's a dry pour. Look at that. There is a dry pour here. Knight of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. There's a dry pour here. Hmm. Why is this here? You know, temperance is something, there's an, in, there's an imbalance right now, present moment. There's an imbalance right now, present moment. Sagittarius energy coming through, but this Knight of Pentacles is here. You know, this Knight of Pentacles is slow and steady. Hmm. You know, that Knight of Pentacles is coming towards. So there's something here that's coming in. There's something that's coming in for you guys. If you've been experiencing some type of dry spell, because there's a dry spell here. So some of you guys, you could you could have you could be experiencing some type of dry spell in your life, and you know that dry spell could be in any aspect. You know, this could be a dry spell within your romantic life. This could be a dry spell when it comes to your resources and your finances, with with your stability itself. You know, this could be a dry spell when it comes to relationships as well. But Knight of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. There is communication coming your way. There is someone that's coming your way here. There's someone or something that's coming your way. Tell me about this spirit. Show me. Wow. Ten of cups, eight of wands. See that? There is someone coming your way. 
Ten of Cups. Now, this could be somebody that's unhappy right now, present moment in life, though. Because the Ten of Cups is in the reverse. This could be somebody here that's unhappy, but this person is coming to you. And I just feel like some of you guys, you have, there's an energy here of having bigger, better things. There's other things here on your mind other than whatever, like there's this, there's, there, you have so much right now, present moment on your mind. You know, that temperance also talks about the temperament, you know, an aggravation, an aggravation because things may not be going the way that you may want them to go. Knight of Pentacles, slow and steady progression. But I do see where the, the, the energy is gaining momentum here with that Eight of Wands. But I'm also getting communication coming in. And there's something here about whomever, because there's, there's someone coming your way. And with this communication with that Ten of Cups, whoever is coming your way, whatever communication you're getting from whoever this is, it's almost like someone expressing to you a disappointment in their own life. This is outside of you. With all honesty, this energy that I'm seeing is outside of you. Because you yourself, you got your own worries here. Like, this is you focused on working. This is you focused on being head of household, taking care of your responsibilities. You know, taking care of any responsibilities that you guys have. And right now, present moment, some of you guys, you, you, you yourself, you're worried because you're experiencing a dry spell here. But there's someone here that's coming in because this person... They want, it's like there's something about, do you care? It's almost an energy of like someone wanting to know, wanting, like, do you care that I'm unhappy? Do you care what's going on in my life? This person wants to talk to you about whatever's going on in their life because it is a person, two of cups. You know, this could be the world here. Yeah. Somebody that you have some unfinished business with. Someone that you have some unfinished business with wants, is coming towards you, wants to communicate with you. This person could be slightly younger than you are. There's a, there's a level, a, a lesser immaturity in this person's energy. This person is also not on the same financial um, wavelength as you. There's some discontentment here in this person's life because that energy is coming through. But this could be a friend, a partner, this could be a soulmate here with the world here. There is some unfinished business. Seven of Swords here is here. Hmm. This person, there's, there's, you know what I'm getting? Like some of you guys, whoever this person is, is coming towards you that wants to communicate with you and are just kind of, it's kind of giving me somebody that wants your energy, wants your time, wants your attention, that type of energy. This person has experienced something hard. Something hard or something ends or something harsh. That's the kind of energy of what I'm getting here. Like they've experienced something hard, something harsh. Um, because I saw that seven of swords. And that seven of swords is this is like somebody that's been cheated out some money. And they may need a helping hand here. You know, this is somebody that may be, they may need to travel. They may, they may need to return somewhere. And they may need some assistance here. Because this is like somebody saying, mama, daddy sister brother friend i need help because where i'm at right now present moment i'm not happy i'm not content i'm not happy i'm not content i'm not this is like somebody for some of you guys somebody getting out of harm's way somebody getting out of a bad situation running away from a very bad situation to you the very loyal dependable person the very loyal very dependable person yeah and the thing about it is, you guys, you're experiencing your own dry spell. You're experiencing your own delays here. Sagittarius energy coming through. You're right, you, you yourself, you're experiencing it yourself. It's like you're somebody wants you to help them out when you yourself need help for some of you guys. Yeah. Show me this nine of swords. So we have the wheel, the wheel in reverse. Hmm. That Sagittarius energy coming through. But this is, some of you guys, there's something that's resurfacing. 
there's a situation that's resurfacing for you. Eight of Pentacles, look at that. Eight of Pentacles. A lot of you guys, this has to do with your finances and or your career or your job or your business. It could even be um, your education. There are some issues here that's resurfacing. There's some issues here that is causing you some worry. You know, with the wheel here, this could tell this could tell me that some of you guys, you know, you thought that some type of funding was coming in, you know, some type of financial relief was coming in, and that in itself hasn't happened yet, or there's been some delays here. And I see the worry, I see the stress, I see the anxiety, I see the sleepless nights over this. And yes, a lot of you guys, it could have to do with your education, your work, your career, your business, what you have been investing all of your time and energy into. Because that will is in the reverse. So this is telling me that things are not moving ahead. Things are not moving forward. Luck is not on your side right now, present moment. There's a stagnation that is occurring. You know, there's no, there's no positive shifts, no positive changes that's happening right now, present moment. And it's causing you a lot of stress and a lot of anxiety. So show me this King of Pentacles for my Virgos. So we have the Hierophants in the reverse. The Hierophant here that comes out in the reverse, you know, that Hierophant towards energy. A lot of you guys, this has to do with higher education, education, you know. Um, there's a disappointment somewhat in this energy. You know, the Hierophant in the reverse is also a non-committal energy. Giving up, giving up. So I feel like right now, present moment, there's something here that some of you guys, you're either giving up on or you're on the verge of giving up on this because you no longer feel the same way about whatever this situation is. Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups. You know, that Seven of Cups talks about temptation, you know, bad choices, decisions, overwhelming. There's an overwhelming energy coming through. So a lot of you guys right now, present moment, there, there, there's, there's some things that you, you may feel a little overwhelmed by certain decisions and choices that you may have to make or you may have had to make. You know, because the Hierophant is here and this talks about, it also talks about, you know, going against societal norms. And there's something here about some of you guys, you doing something that there's a falter. There's a falter energy that's kind of coming through with that seven of cups here. Um, doing something against your best judgment. You know, going against your own beliefs. Going against, it's like you win, you're going against yourself in some type of way, shape, or form. Your your thoughts, your, your decision making. Like there's some type of cloud in judgment that's coming through for some of you guys. Seven of cups here and death you see that sun coming out you know this is bringing something to an end but this is to allow for transformation so some of you guys right now present moment you may be contemplating because there's a contemplating because that hierophant is here in the reverse and i feel like some of you guys right now present moment it's like you're second guessing certain decisions that you've made certain paths that you have taken with that hierophant here you know this is this is i feel like I feel like a lot of you guys, this is kind of like dabbling in something that is just not for your highest and your greatest good. Yeah, because all these cards, the way that they're coming out here in the reverse and they're all in the upright, it's telling me that, well, not all of them, not all of them are in the reverse, but the way that they're falling out, this is, yeah, look, the sun, Leo energy. You're not... This has to do with self here. This has to do with yourself because there is a sadness here. Why is there such a sadness here? Because whatever you have committed yourself to, whatever you've been telling yourself, there's a disappointment here. You've been investing time and energy in a situation here and there's no positive changes that's happening. There's a lack of commitment here. There's a lack of, there's just, there's a lacking energy coming through. Why is the sun here? Ace of Cups. Even that Ace of Cups is coming out in the reverse. This talks about loving yourself, Page of Cups. Page of Cups is here. Page of Cups, this is a person. This could be a child. 
This could be a child. Page of Cups is, again, I'm getting message. Strength. Leo energy. Insecurities. Hmm. You know, that Ace of Cups talks about self-love. Focusing on yourself. Page of Cups, so there's someone here, either a child, you know, this could be a friend here. This is a gesture. This is a gesture offerance here. But strength is in the reverse here with the Nine of Wands. Why do I feel like some of you guys, there's a sense of insecurity here. There's a sense of wanting to be left alone for some of you guys. Like there's a sense of wanting to be kind of left alone to deal with your own problems. Some of you guys, there's a sadness here in this energy, even though somebody, even though there may be somebody new here in your energy, or even like a friend here, someone here that actually wants to talk to you. There's an energy here of kind of wanting to be left alone, not really and truly being in a good place right now. Mm, it's like all work and no play. All work and no play. But I feel like some of you guys, it's like you're wallowing. Because there's a strong energy of wallowing that's coming through. Show me the wheel. Wow. Show me the wheel. Eight of Swords, Three of Cups. Again, something to celebrate. But this talks about friendships here. Hmm. Eight of Swords. It's like you're stuck. You guys are stuck in your head. You feel stuck. Like if there's an energy here of feeling stuck. The will is a lack of positive changes. Hmm. A lot of stress and anxiety is coming in here. And I just get like someone really and truly wanting to be in your life, in your presence. And I feel like you don't want to be bothered. I do. I feel like you just don't want to be bothered. Why is that Eight of Swords here though? I feel like a lot of you guys are just kind of focused on yourself and you just don't want to be bothered. That energy is coming through strongly. Show me this Eight of Swords. Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, energy. Look at this attitude. Some of you guys, this is a divorce. Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, energy. Some of you guys, you know why somebody's coming towards you and you don't want to hear nothing about it. You know why somebody's coming, after, coming your way and you don't trust this person. That Queen of Swords is telling me, some of you guys, you may, some of you guys could be a divorcee going through a divorce going through a separation a breakup and there's a wallowing energy that's coming through here some of you guys there's a bitterness mm -hmm. that queen of swords in the reverse there's a bitterness here and it's 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 a harsh there's a harshness that's coming in knight of wands ace of pentacles see how all this energy is being blocked all of this energy is being blocked here. Ace of Pentacles is a new opportunity, but this opportunity is not. There's a blockage in this opportunity. Why is this Knight of Wands here, though? I see, I see the Magician here talks about manifesting. But why is this Knight of Wands coming through? Why is this Knight of Wands coming through for my Virgos? Three of Wands, oh, what was that? And Four of Cups, over it, Four of Swords. See that? Like Three of Wands, waiting for patiently waiting for your ships to come in. Some of you guys, you can't offer anybody anything stable. You don't want anything stable yourself. You want freedom. That Knight of Wands, like you yourself, you want freedom. And like, this is patiently waiting for your ships to come in. But then the Four of Cups. 
because you're so over some of you guys are over dealing with people you're so over it and it's like just kind of resting needing to rest like you feel like you need to rest here yeah show me show me this temperance show me this temperance six of wands This is not, see, this is, this is that dryness. I, I kept referencing Sagittarius energy. There's some type of stagnation here. A lot of you guys are experiencing some, some type of dry spell here right now, present moment. You know, some of you guys, you could have, you could experience a false start when it comes to your career, when it comes to your money, your finances. It's like you take three steps forward and get knocked four steps, two to four steps backwards. You know, it's like breaking even or breaking almost even, something like that. Like there's, a, there's an experience here of a dry spell here. There's also an experience here of just things not, like feeling like you're not winning right now, present moment, feeling like you're not where you wanna be right now, present moment. I don't know why this energy is coming out. I'm speaking to someone. I'm speaking to someone. Show me this Knight of Pentacles for my Virgos. Because again, there's someone here that wants to talk to you. There's someone here that wants to be with you. Show me this Knight of Pentacles for my Virgos. The Moon. Cancer Pisces energy. The Star. Aquarius energy. But this is a wish not being granted. Yeah, this person... They're not getting what they want here. The moon. Some of you guys, this could be somebody that wants a secret relationship with you. Or this person, they, they, them themselves, they, they're full of secrets. They hide their emotions and their feelings. And the star here, this could be somebody here that's in the public's eye or even a celebrity. But you don't hold this person on a pedestal. This person may be used to being held on a pedestal here. And you do not hold this person on a pedestal. No, show me the moon. Four of Wands. So this could be somebody here that you are in separation from. Like you are not talking to this person right now, present moment. You and this person, you're separated right now, present moment here. You know, there's an instability between you and this person right now, present moment. Mm-hmm. The Magician, Gemini energy. I'm seeing that Gemini Virgo energy. I'm seeing that Magician again. But still, there's somebody here trying to manifest you into their life either into their life or back into their life while you guys are trying to manifest a win. I feel like you guys are trying to manifest a win and somebody else is trying to manifest you. Yeah, show me this eight of wands for my Virgos. We have the 10 of wands. Oh gosh, look at that. Then we have the six of swords and we have the emperor here taking back control taking back control i feel like a lot of you guys are getting the hell out of dodge you're dodging someone here ten of wands hmm look at that a lot of emotional baggage i told you a lot of you guys you're dealing with somebody whoever this person is that want to come towards you or that wants to talk to you this person has a lot of issues in their life right now present moment and i saw this ten of cups since the beginning of the reading somebody is unsatisfied in their life in a in a in a family dynamic you know this is in a relationship here in life itself both of these tens have come out in the reverse and this person is unsatisfied in life right now present moment and i feel like you guys are trying to take back control of your life here with the emperor here like you see how you're doing so much like you're doing so much better on your own there's an on your own energy that's coming in. And I feel like a lot of you guys right now, present moment, it's like you're trying to move on to calmer waters here. Focusing on your business, focusing on being head of household, focusing on your responsibilities here. Show me this 10 of cups for my Virgos. So we have the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy, emotional manipulation, eight of cups look at that 
you're walking away from whoever this is. You're not letting them in. You're emotionally detached from this person. You're emotionally detached from this person. And some of you guys, you realize whoever this person is, they're coming towards you with their bullshit. Look at that. This person's coming towards you because they're unhappy in life. They got a lot of emotional baggage here. This person is emotionally manipulative. You see that? You know, emotionally unavailable. Emotionally manipulative, emotionally unavailable. And I feel like a lot of you guys, is like you yourself, you're trying to actually move on to calmer waters. Some of you guys, you're trying to catch something new here. Some of you guys, you're trying to be your own boss. You're trying to actually accomplish something. And what this person is coming towards you with, I'm getting that it's not your problem. Yeah, 10 of pentacles in the reverse. You know, this could be a family member. This could be somebody that you were in a long-term relationship with or even a spouse. You know, 10 of pentacles in the reverse with death here again i'm seeing that death and the sun shining so there is an ending and the thing about it is whoever this person is you have your own shit to worry about whoever this person is this person is struggling financially they may have experienced a massive loss this person has a lot of emotional baggage they have some unresolved issues here and they're not happy and they're not content in life we got three tens that have all come out in the reverse this person is not happy and not content in their own life. And I just don't understand why they want to come towards you with that. With that energy, I just don't understand. Show me, show me what I need to see, spirit. Show me. Some of you guys, this person, a relationship hasn't worked for them. They may be in separation. Some of you guys, this person could be coming out of jail or they could be facing, yeah, Archangel Michael, protection. Prevented from harm. Look at that. Look at that. Your, your spirit guides are protecting you from this person right now, present moment. That's why your angels are showing you this. Because your spirit guides are protecting you from this person. Yeah, delay, procrastination, too busy. You're too busy. You got better things to worry about than this person. You do. You got better things to worry about. Some of you guys right now, present moment, you are experiencing your own delays. You know, some of you guys, this person, they they themselves, they they messed up because they procrastinated. You know, and now it's like you're too busy. You're too busy for this person. Show me or for what this person wants to talk about. Toxic, drama, arguments, and incompatible. Whoever this person is, this person is full of toxicity, full of drama. They just, they argue a lot. They're full of arguments. I'm getting like, this could be a family member that go around and arguing with all family members. You know, there's something very incompatible about you and this person. Show me. Blood ties, inner circle family. See, I told you, a lot of you guys this is a family member, but look at that. They're facing consequences for their bad choices. The games that they played. Some of you guys were dealing with somebody here. They were giving you mixed signals. Look at that. Settled, secure, and wealthy. Hmm. Some of you guys, whoever this person is, they themselves, they could have, they could have been in a different posture at some point in time. You know, but there's something about their security and their wealth being questioned right now, present moment. Their security and their wealth is being questioned right now, present moment. Some of you guys, whoever this person is, is coming towards you. This could be a family member. This, this person is looking for help and assistance here. They're looking for help and assistance here. And the thing about it is I'm definitely getting an energy where as you, my Virgo, you have to work hard for what you have. You've had to work hard for what you have. And you're still working hard to maintain what it is that you have. And this person is is looking from the outside in, thinking you have way more than what you have for some of you guys. But this person is, yeah, look at that, chaos, upheaval, disaster, downfall. Some of you guys, whoever this person is, they're experiencing a downfall right now, present moment in their life. And they're coming towards you looking for a helping hand or looking for someone to, to hear them out. Also, I'm getting any, somebody that's emotionally manipulative. This is just somebody here that is playing, playing on your feelings and playing on your emotions. Yeah, show me. Tell me about this person that's coming towards my Virgos. Tell me about this person. 
communication, texting, phone calls online. So you see, you're going to receive some type of communication from this person. You're going to receive some type of communication from this person. We saw that already. Spiritual growth, learning, expanding the soul. Some of you guys, this person knows that you're spiritual. You may hear from somebody and they may ask you to pray for them. This could also be somebody that may say that they, you know, they're on a spiritual journey right now, present moment, and they've they've transformed and they've changed. They're trying to. Some of you guys, you may deal with somebody here. This person may try to use that to get close to you. Yeah, long distance, foreign distant. This could definitely be somebody that's at a distance from you. This could be somebody that's at a distance from you or somebody here that you, you may have met online. Show me. Twin flame. Spiritual alignment, effortless, and karmic. Some of you guys, this is a karmic person. This could be a karmic family member, a karmic lover here. Some of you guys, you have a soul contract with this person. Hmm. I feel like some of you guys, this is somebody that you've tried to distance yourself from. I do. We have a mature man, older male, mature in age. Now, this person could be older, but I'm getting they're immature. This person could definitely be older, but they are immature. Show me. Then we have union, marriage, partnership, a serious relationship. So this could be somebody that you were in a serious relationship with or you were married to this person or this person could be in a whole nother relationship. Show me. Show me what I need to see. Destiny. Meant to be. Luck. This person feels like, like yeah, but there's obstacles here, blockages between you and this person. There's obstacles and blockages here between you and this person here. This person feels you are luck. They, this person feels like you, you and them, you're destined to, to be together. You're destined to be in each other's company because this doesn't have to be a lover. It doesn't have to be because I'm getting some of you guys as a family member. Yeah, what's your advice, spirit? What's your advice for my Virgos? Oh, grounding. You guys got this, got this the other day. It says, your attention is directed up too high. As if you're not in your body, a balance is needed between a focus on spirit and a focus on earth. Grounding will help you better concentrate and focus and will also increase your connections to the angels. It says, I'm steady and grounded. I feel like some of you guys, you do, you do need to bring forth some type of balance because I feel like right now, present moment, while sometimes things are good, sometimes things may not be oh so good. I do feel that energy. So it's one of those things, whereas you have your own stuff that you're dealing with, and then you also have someone that's trying to come in, come your way, and they're bringing, they're trying to bring to you towards you their problems and their issues. And I feel like your spirit guides want you guys to take time to take care of yourself. Take time to take care of yourself and get grounded. Truly get grounded. Yeah, I'm also getting like some of you guys. You may have a weight on you, whereas there's people in your family or people in your environment and they they rely on you a lot and that in itself is a heavy weight that you guys may be carrying right now present moment but your spirit guides want you to focus on getting grounded balancing yourself balancing the scales like making sure that you don't over exert yourself or overextend yourself because there's an extension here so even overextending yourself massive energy all right, my loves, that is what I have for you guys. If any of this resonates, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Know that I love and appreciate every last one of you guys. Until next time. Bye, guys.